welcome back to the channel. Today I wanted to talk to y'all about a way to keep your hydration up during the hot summer months we have uh, ahead of us here. So in the past I've enjoyed these drinks, these bubbly drinks. They're not bad. One thing I don't like about them is the ingredient natural flavors. Natural flavors, if you google it, do some research on it, it's one of those things that I don't know how I feel about it, I don't know how much I trust it. So I'm looking for a more natural way to refresh ourselves when we come in from working in the garden or moving the animals. So I went ahead and I ordered some kefir grains, which I have in here. Water kefir grains. This is new to me. I've done milk kefir, but I have yet to try water kefir. So water kefir is a, a ferment and it is a way to get almost like a natural soda pop. So that's what we're going to make today. So in case you're curious, I had to look it up. I will read to you what water kefir grains actually are because there's no way I'm going to remember it. So it says, what are water kefir grains? Many people are familiar with milk kefir grains, but what are water kefir grains? Where did the culture originate and how does it differ from milk kefir? Although both products are made from grains, these are not actual grains of like wheat or rye, but rather clusters of bacteria and yeast living in symbolic relationship and held together by a polysaccharide or a dextran produced by Lactobacillus hagerii. Hege these clusters of bacteria, yeast, and polysaccharide look like little crystals or grains of jelly. The bacteria and yeast in the grains utilize sugar to produce lactic acid, ethanol, a small amount, and carbon dioxide. So this is a great way, essentially this is a probiotic. This is going to feed your gut flora, it's going to refresh you, and give you some great minerals. So let's go ahead and make it. So you can find water kefir grains in many places. Your local health food store as your standard carries them. Uh, Amazon has several varieties. I got mine from, uh, I think it's Posse Mama. I will leave a link in the description for you to visit their website and you can read more about it. But this is what we're looking like. Got shipped to me in the mail. So this is what they look like. And these smell amazing. I can smell the yeast in these, so I'm hopeful that they'll be good and active right out of the package. So I'm going to add this into the clean quart glass jar. Try and get them all out best I can. So the next thing we're going to do is add a source of sugar for the kefir uh, grains to feed off of. So today I'm going to use some organic uh, brown sugar. It's got lots of good minerals in it. And I'm going to add a tablespoon give or take of molasses. Okay. Next thing I'm going to do is add my, my uh, quart of water. Uh, typically you're going to want to use spring water if you have it available. Um, you can buy it. We do have a spring nearby. So I'm going to go ahead and add in the water. I'm going to stir all this together very gently. And it's as easy as that, guys. This is the starting process. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to cover it with a paper towel and a rubber band. I'm going to let it sit for 24 hours. Tomorrow I'll be back with you guys and we're going to strain out the keepers. We're going to add in a fruit and flavor our, our drink. And we'll see how it goes from there. We'll do a second ferment starting tomorrow. A couple of things I wanted to mention are if you do have other ferments in your house, whether it's sauerkraut, whether it's pickles, or if you're doing a hot sauce, fermenting a hot sauce, or sourdough. You want to keep your fer ferments, the different types, about four to five feet apart from each other. Because the ferments are surrounded by their, the bacteria. And you don't want bacteria from one to jump to another. It'll give you funky results in both. 
So I'm going to make sure that I keep my sourdough starter, which is over here. It's going to stay on one side and the water kefir is going to go over on the other side. And hopefully this turns out good, guys. Like I said, this is new to me, but it's a way to get some of that processed food out of your bodies, out of your kitchen, and go to something a little more natural than soda or uh, processed orange juice or even these bubbly drinks. So meet me back here tomorrow and we'll show you step two.